Well guys, welcome back to Ramp T Farms. So, Farming Simulator 17, as if you've seen my update video, you just seen that I asked if you wanted Ramp T Farms episodes coming back, and I haven't got time to do full on Let's Play right now, so this is what is happening, some Ramp T Farms episodes. So I've been on this map now, about 40 hours or something, I can't remember. And at the weekend, bought a new combine, done a few missions. Um, I'll tell you now how many. So I'll give her 230 missions, which is quite a lot. It's good money and it's pretty fun, to be fair. Um, got most of the achievements. We currently have 17 pigs, I started off with, I think it was 10, so they're producing, well the game's not been running that long, so it's not coming up with the stats yet, but sheep, I only have 14 sheep, and I've not touched the cows yet, because the cows is miles away, over down by 25, or 27, it's insane. So, let's get started with the first episode. I can't remember what I was up to. There we go. New combine that we bought at the weekend. The Massey. I was going to get the New Holland or the, um, or the Case, but decided to get the Massey because of I ran the, the New Holland in 15, the case in um, FS 13, so decided to be, get the Massey on the go. Um, <coughs> I did test, in a test world that you can actually put the, the big 45 foot header off the, off the, um, off the New Holland on, so onto that Massey, so I might do that at a later date when I get some bigger fields. In fact, what fields do we own? Um, so far I've bought 9, 19 and 24. And then when I get a bit more money up, I'm going to wait for um, a field that's getting the corn harvested on it, uh, that's got corn on it, and I'll buy it. Saves me out to plant some corn because you need it for the pigs, which we'll go up and see now. So I've just got little piles. I've run out of corn, but we've got some. I think that's grain, some sugar beets, some straw, and the other grain. I think it's canola. I'm not 100% sure because you need to get. Is it water, straw, corn, wheat or barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans, and then potatoes or sugar beets to get them onto the hundred percent? Plus, you got to clean them. Uh, my sheep just take grass and hay and water, and then cows is power food, which is mixed rations. I don't think you've got to put grass and hay and silage in if you just run it on mixed rations. I'm not hundred percent sure. We'll get to that at some point. See so, yeah. Pigs are always breeding, which is good. I'm going to get up to about 30 or 40 pigs, and then, then I'll start selling them. There's no dirt on the floor at the minute from them. Right, you go the cow edition Valtra that I'm running. The case and the new Holland will be going soon. Probably by the time, no, not by the time I do another episode, we'll see. I need to get this thing washed at some point. But in fact, no, we won't use this, will we? Let me check on my fields because now you got to plow them all the time. I keep forgetting if 
because I bought one of the fields at a different time. If it's going to need plowing or not, nah. So it should be good. So I'm going to plant straight after this. Um, so we'll take the old case down. This thing's a hog. Be a sad day when this thing goes. This trailer is a little bit big for it, but it manages. Thirty nine hours on the old girl. So hopefully soon I'll get a great demand because my silos are starting to get a little bit full. Um, this straw swath pile there is massive. In fact, he's nearly full, so. I'll quickly empty him. Then I go and get the um, the forge wagon. Yeah, I was either going to get this Massey or the Fent harvester, but looking at them, the stats are the same. The models are exactly the same, uh, but the price is different. So I decided to get the Massey. Got like I think it's a 40 foot header, I'm pretty sure. But like if I start getting the bigger fields, we'll just get a put one of the new Holland 45 foot headers on it, it'd be fine. So hopefully the video quality is alright. Still having to capture in full window mode. And no window in like full monitor. My OBS is just giving me a blank screen when I try and go in game capture. So New Holland. There it is. <coughs> Things serve me well. I'll be upgrading to a bigger one one day, but at the minute I'm mainly planting soya beans and canola. So I'm not really using forge wagon too much, but we'll collect this straw swath and sell it. I've got a little bit saved up in one of them sheds up there along with my sugar beets so that'll keep the pigs happy for a while that's a massive pile it could end up blocking the Holy heck. Yeah, we'll go over this a little bit slowly. We don't want to block the... <coughs> block the blades up and after that. So we will have to go very slowly. <laughs> the straw swaths a bit too high for it. Let's 
trade at three mile an hour, see if that it's putting at sixty nine all the time, but <coughs> boy this might not happen. And we might not be that desperate for this draw sword. Let's try and risk it at four, four mile an hour. Yeah, and this is, oh, uh, what's my guy on there? Blocked by an object, it's hit a tree. For some reason, with this field, ever since I bought it, like, it just does, it goes halfway up and then tries to turn around and do the next bit of the field. It doesn't, doesn't like this whole bit. It's insane. Yeah, every time ploughing anything it just stops halfway down this field. It's crazy. I genuinely don't know what the heck is wrong with it. So, the reason why I wasn't going to do a full let's play was time to record is a little bit limited. Um, Plus time to play and like do an actual full on let's play. Like, I don't have enough time to play two save games. Um, so I just do some rum tea farms episodes. Bring you guys in every now and again, probably once or twice a week, hopefully, to where I'm up to in my save game. But like, I don't really get to play a lot during the week. So it might only be once a week, we'll see. I'll try and get a little bit of multiplayer footage done as well. I've got a couple of videos to go live, but we shall see. Quickly <coughs> go to the next field. Uh, will we even fit across these? Oh, there we are. Only just ripped the sign now. I started at the other end of the field because I think this field as well has a funny turn in it. Pretty sure I planted the same crop on both of these two fields. Because I got six fields to try and plant two of the same. What were we on there? Barley we were on. So yeah, I fast forwarded the time. So it'd be light enough to record and it ended up being a foggy day. Draw at four mile an hour. Well, uh, there's probably a strong possibility this is going to get ploughed in, I think. a 
bigger forge wagon is not on my list of priorities just yet. And see if we could hire a worker, but no. <coughs> yeah, the straw swaths too too high for the old girl. It's fine off the case one, but It's a three mile an hour, I can tell you that for free boys. Loading wagons. You're probably going to get the Lely one because I've used the other two before. So you need 130k and a 200 horse tractor. So that could be one of the next purchases, possibly. Still got big enough cedar. Ideally, I'd want a new sprayer first, but we shall see. But I think with animals, it's going to be a while before I get onto the cows because they're quite a way away. I might end up doing carols later when a, a British style map or something comes out. Might do some carols. I don't have crop destruction mod turned on. I don't know if it's been fixed yet or not. I'm not 100% sure. Last time I used it, it was crazy. It was taking far too much. Just even when using crop wheels, it was taking loads. And then apparently they've fixed it. So if you've got crop wheels on, it doesn't do any damage whatsoever anymore. So like they've gone from one extreme to the other. I know I'm driving on the crop, boys, but. Saves moving the harvest on. If I had crop destruction wheels on, then I'd move. I'd, I'd be moving it. Like if the crop mod was installed, but it will be reaped. So I'm just gonna stock up on all of the grains and stuff. I think we can only have 100,000 litres this time and then we need to buy a new silo so we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's quite a lot of weight in here for this old case but she'll be good. <laughs> So guys, I'm going to end the video there, hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Ramty Farms, keep an eye out for the multiplayer stuff, and don't forget to like the Facebook page, um, pretty much daily upload of a photo of the day on there, and all the info on my friends' streams and YouTubes etc always gets put up there as well, so on that note, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode don't forget to like the video and if you're new subscribe thanks for watching guys see you later